Hello everybody and welcome back to our Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth Let's Play. We're back at it again in the Cosmo Canyon region. We're currently, let's just take a look here. I do like to check. We're currently 40 hours in, nearly 41 hours actually. And we're just finally exploring the outdoor area of Cosmo Canyon. And we're uh, just trying to unlock a few bits and bats here. Not going too wild, because uh, I'm going to be doing all the side quest stuff. Probably in a separate series on hard difficulty on our second playthrough. We are kind of just focusing on the single player stuff and the story single player stuff. Obviously it's single player, but the uh, main story arc of the game. We've not really done too much of the side quest stuff. I've been kind of saving that for my second playthrough as uh, I'm pretty keen to just find out the, the inner depths of the story. So at the moment, we're just trying to get to this location here. We do have our flying chocobo now, but we are finding it incredibly difficult to navigate these flying sort of balloon things. Oh, well. That wasn't supposed to happen, but nevertheless, it has done. So we've got like these uh, launch pads where we can actually fly our chocobo about the area. Um, we are struggling a little bit with the awkward camera that is really, really, really close to our character. For some reason, we're not actually staying in the air. I mean, yesterday when we went on this, we literally glide for absolutely ages. So we'll try and make it over to this one. Oh, do we manage it? We are making a little bit of progress here. We are trying our absolute best to sort of navigate these windy trails and get over to the next bit of intel. They're not the easiest thing to navigate, I won't lie. Like they are pretty pretty difficult. You don't really glide too high. Um, one thing I probably would recommend, I play on a lower sensitivity with the camera. Uh, I definitely think it benefits you slightly to have the responsiveness of the camera on maybe three or four or even five. Um, just to make sure we can turn the camera appropriately. So we're going to roll off this one here. Uh, and I do not know... If we were supposed to press a button there to glide. Is it L2 to glide? Am I missing something? Because yesterday it was just doing it itself. Maybe there's been a patch over that I don't know about. Let's have a look. So it's R2 to glide. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. So it's looking like... We are going to be after manually holding in the R2 button here which is probably why we've just fell great down to the bottom thankfully we didn't take any fall damage so perhaps yesterday I was just holding the R2 uh, subconsciously like and just doing it anyway have a look here. We're going to hold R2. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay. It was looking like we are getting closer towards our destination. We were really struggling getting here yesterday. Uh, it was pretty tricky. These little uh, chocobo feet 
are the glide markers that I believe we've been over thus far. We do have a Moodle Intel um, I don't know if it's higher up actually but this is definitely one of the trickier parts of the game um, I'm going to keep trying to get over try and get as much height as humanly possible I do believe there is a way let's have a look where's this bird going there's obviously these birds do indeed lead us towards the fountains I'm going to follow this one over here and see where it's going to take us Have a look. Oh, yep. This way. I thought we'd done this one actually. Apparently not. Oh. I'm going to have to get off our mount here. Here we go. Got Chadley's little scanner. One, two, three. Nice. We've got another live spring there discovered. Always nice. Regional intel is now available. So perhaps this might make us, uh, give us more opportunity to get to where we're trying to go. Let's have a look. Let's just get back out of this cave. So, we can actually go up higher here. Let's just take a little bit of a look. Um, we do have an excavation site there. So we are trying to get over to this. Then we did try direct flying straight over. It didn't really work out. Um, hmm, interesting. Have a little bit of a look here. But whilst we're up here, we might as well investigate a little bit further up. See if we can get to a higher location, maybe glide a bit further. All of these regions are full of secrets and they are all pretty varied and interesting with their own little mechanics and whatnot. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Here we get. Meep, meep. 7,500 gil. Jenga, let's go. I'm probably going to fight here. Seems immensely easy to set down. Some bizarre reason. Where's you be going? <laughs> oh, the fight's still on, is it? Looks like we're bugging out. Why is it why is it invisible? Let's hit it with a spell, eh? Um gotcha. That is so weird. Deal with that. I'm pretty sure that that is not supposed to happen. That's so how we found ourselves a bit of a bug here. Thankfully, Barrett can't just shoot through the floor. This one's for you. On I'm not sure whether it's uh, supposed to burrow under the ground and pop back up, but it is what it is. So we are a little bit higher here. Perhaps we can have another try. We're trying to get towards... Go boo. So we need to get over to sort of that red 
little uh, stone over there is one of our locations that we definitely need to get to, which is here. And then there's a higher bit up here. Let's see if we can, in, can indeed make it. Oh, we might just do it. We may be onto something here. Fingers crossed we're going to make this reversal. Come on. Let's go. We're doing it, guys. Let's go, baby. Oh, no, no. Oh. I'm on a choke bow. Oh, shit. The fuck is this? All right, chill out, big fella. These are the ones that have got our expedite. Expel their energy source. What the? Should be pressured. They're a bit of a pain in the bump. Let's go. Boom. They remind me of uh, Malphite out of League of Legends, actually. Take some big goddamn damage here. So, we're going to heal up Cloud. A little bit of Cura. We've, we haven't actually unlocked Curagi yet. I don't know if that's a thing in this game. Or it's just that's going to be the the max we can hope for. Uh-oh. Nice. Point Blank is a really, really powerful ability. I really like Barrett. I think he's one of the more fun characters to use in this game. Maximum Fury. Let's go. Get this target pressured here. Let's go. Let's do bonus round. Overcharge into maximum fury. Right, let's see what we can do here. Chrono with Jesus. Heat wave call from. Let's see what a heat wave does. Boom. Keep it together. Oh, you can do it. Hang back. It's a tanky little little bugger. Point punish your mod. Let's have a look. Let's see what arrow does to it. Is it weak to arrow? Yep, it's weak to air. So let's uh, let's see what air abilities we've got. Gale impulse. Let's go. You got a whirlwind coming your way, baby. Oh yeah. Kind of reminds me of Soul Train. Um, is it Soul Train out of um, out of Gears of War for some reason? We've got these red stone sort of monolith things. We're gonna be flapping through these. According to one of the canyon's legends, Bahamut wants to shelter somewhere in these lands after being severely wounded in a fierce battle. These are all tied to Bahamut. Or Bahamut. There we go. And there should be one more knocking around here. Should be the final stone. I do believe these reduce the difficulty of the summoner task. The VR oh way up. Is this it? Oh, so we found two secret treasures as well. Nice. Oh. Well, that's not good. Capital ruins complete. So I don't know if that's all of the, the summons. 
I think there should be one more. Here we go. Oh. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Beautiful. These obviously... Well, not obviously. I don't know why I keep saying that. Um, they reduce the difficulty of the VR summon missions. Which you have to defeat to add the summon to your arsenal. So this is a difficult one. Circle triangle XX. Circle triangle XX. Circle triangle XX. Circle triangle XX. Oh, did we do it? Nice. And there's the summon in the backdrop. So now we've got the data. It will give us the opportunity to take it on at one of Chadley's checkpoints. Splendid synchronization. Let's hope our investigation of other shrines goes as smoothly. The VR summon battles are really goddamn difficult. Uh, they all have sort of a... Oh my god, I should have jumped off there. They all have kind of a gimmick and a weakness. And if you don't exploit it to its full potential, you will fail. They are by no means for the faint of heart. And reading up on them is advised. And using every tool in your arsenal. Generally, I go in. I assess them. I look through the mechanics. Generally lose the first couple of times. Get a feel for sort of the rotations and what they do. And then uh, go back in. Guns are blazing. So let's follow this dude. And we've got another life spring here, perhaps. Oh, yes. Let's go. Plateau Riff, uh, Ruins. Now, I don't know what the level cap is in this one. It was 50 in the last game. Um, but just kind of going through the main story on dynamic difficulty. We're about 40 hours in. Uh, we're, we're nearly level 40 as it is. Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, it's buried in some nearby mountain currently. But we suspect they were built by the ancients. Perhaps you could conduct an investigation of your own while looking for the transmitter. So every region has intel, which is the towers and the live springs, which lead to intel, which is sort of the summon stones, which then lead to the transmuter chips, so on and so forth. They've all got sort of their own path, uh, and it's layers on layers of things that unlock other things. Um, it's pretty much the same in every region. They all have their own little twist on things. Uh, let's have a look here. We're going to have a look on the map. So, where to next? Let's have a look. So we can leave. Uh, oh, we didn't do the tower, did we? Did we not activate it? Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me, right? After all that, did we not even activate the tower? Oh, we've not seen... Oh, it's Stone Gollum again. So let's... Uh, it's weak to wind. So let's cast some uh, wind abilities. Put down our ward. Um, Radiant Ward's my favourite. We'll cast. Uh, double look. Do you okay? 
Nice. Big damage. Hey, yo. If you do have everything you party, I'd always recommend putting down the ward even if you're not in control of her. It just makes the damage output so much better. Material level up beautiful. Um, so let's just make our way back to this tower. I, I, I thought we did activate it though. Oh, forgive me, I'm not on my morning coffee yet. Oh, what is this? Oh dear, no, 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 no. Let's have a look. Do Put a marker on this. I cannot actually believe that we've not activated the tower. It's a bit of a massive oversight. So many things that you just get sidetracked doing in this game. <laughs> you just end up like, oh wow, look at this, look at that. And just running around and checking everything out. So, got to actually go all the way back around here. The transmuter chip is around here somewhere. We will have a quick look for that in a moment. Take a step back here. Sorry about that. Drop our ready ward. And we'll probably heal up somebody here. Let's have a look. Cloud of Hill. Thunder. Wow. Get this Griffin out of the way. we punish your mode. As much damage as we can hit. Like I said, even if you just leave Aerith in the the ward and don't take control of her and she will still do massive damage let's have a look here triple slash and you're uh, oh we're out of MP again Bells, uh, item. We do have a bit of ether, thankfully. Pop an ether on cloud as well. Do a thunder again. We need to level up this material anyway. Do another thunder. One thing you can do is you can kite around the enemies. So if you attack one until it turns on you, and then when it does, switch to another character, you can sort of distribute out the aggro, a bit like an MMO or a raid boss. It can be pretty useful, especially on more difficult enemies to kill. We've nearly just walked up and activated this one again. This would be bad. Uh, 
Um, struggling to help here. What's going on? White high up here. Here we go. Let's do it. Nice. We took our time getting up here, but this area itself has got quite a lot of stuff. A few live springs, good enemies, and um, obviously we've got the chip, the tower. There's been loads of stuff up here, actually. It's been pretty decent. So, I think we have to use the chocobo. Is it there, just in front of us, or is it above us? Looks like it is, in fact, going to be above. I'm not sure how we get up there. I'll just have a little look. Looks like it's up here. Just a little bit higher up yet. Okie dokie. Looks like we found it here. Armor upgrades 10. The hell? Here we go. I'm going to say it's a bug. So perhaps this one is below here. Is this one below us? Transmuted chip. Oh, or is there more to get? Okay. It does indeed look like it's this way. It's looking like it's above again. Nice. The Conic Ring. There's plenty of uh, little bits and bats around here. So these dig sites are pretty good, actually. So we got everything in the area. We got all three artifacts. Beautiful. So I didn't even know you could get armor and um, stuff like that from these destinations. Always good to know. So uh, we did get like a draconic ring and some armor stuff. Let's have a look. 
Hold on. Um... So, craftsmanship. Ah, interesting. Right. So this unlocks stuff for your item transmuter. Makes sense now. Okay. Not only do we have the ability to make new things from leveling it up, but we also can unlock um, patterns and whatnot from these dig sites, which I never, I never even knew. Uh, let's see if we can get over to these planetological runes. Looks like it's just up here. Probably near enough on top of it, actually. I'm on a chocobo. You're on a chocobo. <laughs> We're definitely sort of in the right area. It's a little bit confusing to navigate this zone. That's for sure. do just keep coming back around to the same bit here. So how the hell do we get to it? So confusing. My sensors indicate the presence of a unique life form. It's through the wall this one. There we go. Found it. Beautiful. Meh. Let's have a little bit of a look here. Yo. So, um, it's got to be an easy way of getting to this subsection that we're trying to get to. Don't want to be jumping off there at all. Keep looking here. We're we'll make our way right back over here and probably try and reapproach it to be fair. I do find the compass sometimes can be a tad misleading. But we do have a wall that we can scale here. So let's uh, go up and have a look. Ooh, what is this? We activate this somehow? What do we actually do with this? Looks like it's got some sort of importance anyway. I seem to do anything with this one. Uh, let's have a look. Can we see our destination from here? Is it okay that we can? back down just keep moving around trying to find a spot where we can cut across um can we get down here okay let's try to approach this from a different angle here
Still can't seem to get to it. It's like we're just walking around in bloody circles. I'm confused why we can't get to this. It should legit just be here. Perhaps it's beneath us. Call out Chocobo. Chocobo, Choco, Choco, Chocobo. I'm on a Chocobo. So perhaps it's down Chocobo. there. Underneath. I don't really want to be jumping down after it was so difficult to get up here in the first place. I think for now we're just gonna move forward. Um Try and find the platform to glide off to and see if we can glide to this location. Meh. Have another secret here to dig up, so let's grab that before we go. Exquisite beast spines, beautiful. Okay, guys, gloves up. Well, let's just try and do this before we uh, continue. Just in case we struggle to get back up here. Oh, it's an elder golem. Interesting. We have got two minutes here. Check this out. We're going to assess it. First and foremost. Right. So, they lose energy every time they attack a set damage and become pressured once their energy is exhausted. The weak to wind. Okay. Fine. We need to be casting as much wind as possible. Arrow. Arrow. Overcharge. And. Heal impulse. Uh, just cast the wind abilities on all three of these characters. We should be Gu Gucci. So we'll put down our ward here, which gives us. Um, Arcane Ward lets us double cast. So what we'll do is we can cast double spells now. Uh, spells. Oh, we don't have an arrow here. Um, well, that's not awkward. Lightning Magic. Yeah, stream. Oh, here we are. Wind Magic, yet. Yeah. One, two. There we go. Arrow twice again. We have to heal a cloud. I've just held myself by accident. So I'm absolute noob. Uh, cure. Oh, we're out of MP again. So 
So we need to heal up Cloud here. Right, so we pressured him. Now we've got to stagger him. Do we need to do jet stream? Jet stream. Uh, let's heal up Cloud again. We've got one minute left. We nearly got him uh, in the stagger state. And we got the stagger. So things are going really well here, actually. So we've run out of arrow here. Do a Giga Potion. Overcharge. Um. Could do it quite comfortably, I think. Use some of these uh, grenades. Was immune apparently. Interesting. Double jet stream, shall we? When I say comfortable, we did only have 17 seconds left. So that was pretty goddamn difficult actually i think i uh underestimated it a little bit but nevertheless job well done guys job well done so moving forward here have a little bit of a route yo so, let's have a look kind of annoying me that I can't get to this and I want to know why but I'm guessing it's on the ground uh, we won't worry too much about that actually um, let's try and make our way over to the expedition intel use our height here um, is that the expedition there Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! No! You stupid chocobo. Bloody hell. Oh, well, apparently they can't glide that far. Well, that's a bit awkward. So let's try and... Camera angle is so awkward for doing this. Let's just drop down here. There is a secret here. Ancient baths. And all the way up. The birds here. Oh, we find another life spring. Let's go. Get 
this juggle out of the way. One thing that I will say, the map is a little bit deceiving in where things are. They can be very close or quite far away. Oh, sugar. Etc. in the Gee New Region. Intel is now available. Beautiful. You love to see it. Okay, so we got another live spring data here. Always full of materials as well. That you should definitely be picking up. Okay, let's go through here, perhaps. Looks kind of inviting. Um, or maybe not. So perhaps if we move across this we could climb up it maybe or oh, maybe not bit of a shame can we not go over this perhaps we can get up these rocks somehow oh we find another secret let's go cash complete so whenever you see the live spring, you should always follow it. Always leads to sort of a few secrets and whatnot. Can we get down here? See if we can get down with our chocobo. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Okay, nice. This up. Hey, babe. Ten chunks of bromite. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So we have done quite a fair few bits here. So we are gonna. Oh, I think we need to do the training course now and then onwards with our next objective in the story i do like to break up a little bit with one of these sort of exploratory that's a word uh, episodes where we just kind of have a little bit of a route around in the open region just do a few bits uh, i'm not really too fussed about 100 percent in it but now uh just obviously it's good to keep our level up and make sure that we're staying on top of sort of what our level that we need to be. If we fall too far behind, things may become a little bit too difficult. We did get some more Moogle medals, so that's pretty good. So the dig sites of the Moogle medals do seem a really good way of getting extra stuff. So it's very mine. Just see which way we have to go here. We can select past these without fighting. Because time is always against us in the famous words of Morpheus. Let's go. Looks like we've hit another dead he dead end here. Such a confusing region. To navigate, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's absolutely like insane. 
the rock climbing chocobos from the jungle would be very, very useful here. Let's just have a look. So we have got kind of... I don't know if we have to get up higher. Um, we'll have a route up this way. Here we can get up the cliffs and walk around this way. We've got another chocobo stand here. But I do think, in order to save everyone a little bit of hike and a little bit of boredom, whilst I bloody navigate this region, I think we'll call it here and uh, make our way over there in the next episode. So we're just going to rest up the party here and make sure that we're ready for our next adventure, which I do hope you will join me on. Over 96% of my viewership is not currently subscribed. If you do fall into that category and you'd like to help out the channel, we are approaching 500 subscribers currently. I think we're sat at 366 at the time of making this video. So we'd love to have you here on the channel. And obviously, if you subscribe, you ring that post notification bell. You're never going to miss a future upload. So consider doing that for me today and make me a happy boy or a happy man as it may be. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go.